Welcome to our COVID-19 Good Friday service. One year ago, we found ourselves quickly adapting as we continued to be the church when the building was no longer safe for us to gather together. As we discover why Easter matters in light of our experiences this past year, we invite you to pause and remember all that this year has been. And as we reflect on times when surrendering to the moment is all we can do. We have had trials, tribulations, joys that were unexpected in this past year, just as Jesus and the disciples did on that Good Friday. The moment I knew, the moment I knew the world changed, that moment, when I realized the few people I considered my inner circle would be the only ones I could count on. The moment I knew the world changed, I sat around a table in disbelief, thinking back to the last time I saw my friend, unsure of when I would see him again. I knew. And in that moment, anger boiled up inside of me for the injustice and unthinkable loss the world would come to experience. I knew the moment. I knew the moment the place where we usually get food was completely out of stock of everything. One week it was fine. The next week we were fighting to find anything on our list. The fear of scarcity was overwhelming. I had to trust that all would be well, that my family would be provided for. Let the nets down for a catch. Our nets broke. There were so many fish. I just felt at his knees. I knew when he spoke truth about me that only I knew. I knew when he saw me under the fig tree before Philip called me to come. How could someone know me so deeply without ever even meeting me? I knew when I no longer could return to work. I just left. I'm sure my office looked like the end of Avengers Infinity War. Like I was just plucked out of the middle of the regular week. All I had to hear were those words, follow me. I didn't need my former life. I knew someone else could fill the role of tax collector. I actually didn't believe. I didn't think it was true. Everything everyone was saying sounded dramatic. Where was the proof? It seemed like each day there was a news story saying something contradicting the one before it. Things changed so quickly. I had so many doubts. Unless I saw the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I could not believe. After I realized we were in a new reality, the protests started. This is what I had waited for. The crowds gathered and people waved their palms and finally I knew Jesus realized the power he had to move the Roman's hand. Justice was ours. Finally, people could get loud. Finally, the voices of the oppressed could be heard. I realized my understanding of power may have differed from his. I thought I could take matters into my own hands. The moment I kissed his cheek, I couldn't have known how the world would change forever. I knew the moment it was morning, I felt like the world was crashing down around me and others were just able to go about their regular routine. Did they not know what was happening? Did they not know what had happened? I was standing at the opening of the tomb. I thought someone had taken him away. A man, who I thought was a gardener, asked me why I wept. Then he said my name, Mary, and I knew the world had changed forever. Wonder worker. In this year when everything has changed, when we felt worried and weary, when we wailed and we wondered, you gave us promise. 
Nothing can separate us from your love and nothing will be wasted with you at work. Light, life, love, and liberation always win. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. John chapter 11, verse 33. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. John uh, 12, verses 24 through 25. Very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. 